So now that we have everything kind of initially configured, we can finally put in our frame relay commands that configures the routers to interchange uh, frame relay uh, frames, basically. So the first one I'm going to show you how to do, though, is the uh, static map. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a frame relay static map. Okay, and, and then we'll talk about it, and then we'll do, after that, we'll do the sub-interfaces. So to do the frame relay static mapping, what I'm going to do is I'll start with router 1, and I'll open that up. Okay, and go to command line interface, and hit enter, and enable, and conf t to get into global config mode. So I'm in global config mode, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to go into interface serial 2 slash 0. So I need to go into my that interface, right? Now the IP address is already set, so now I have to change the encapsulation to frame relay. So I'm going to say, okay, encapsulation frame dash relay. Okay, now that instantly takes the interface down, right? If we can stretch this out, you'll see. See, um, well, it's supposed to take the interface down. It took it up, but we changed the interface encapsulation to frame relay, and now we got a few more commands that we need to do. All right, so, all right, so now we have encapsulation frame relay. We'll set the bandwidth. Sixty-four, okay, and now we're going to map it right so we're gonna at this point the static mapping we set up a frame dash relay map right to IP address to the IP address that we're mapping to which in this case will be 10.0.0.2 so we're gonna map it to 10.0.0.2 so we have to know the IP address to do this right so this is a static map this is not the preferred way of doing it but it's on the exam, Cisco exam is part of it, so we're doing it. So um, static mapping. Then you put in the um, DLCI, which in this case will go 102. So I'm router 1, and 102 goes to router 2, right? And then at the end, broadcast. All right, and hit enter, and no shut. And we're done with that interface right okay and that's it so now we have to do the same thing for the other two routers so I open up router 2 and we do the same things so command line interface enable conf t interface serial 2 slash 0 we've already set the IP address so we don't need to do that we're just going to change the encapsulation tab completion to frame relay okay then we're gonna set the bandwidth 64 oops and then we're going to do our frame relay map to the IP address right in this case um, for this one I'm gonna map it to R3 so I'm gonna go from here to here this time right so we'll say IP we'll say 10.0.0 dot three okay I think that's the one and that's gonna be the DLCI since I'm on router two now going to to router three will be 203 and broadcast okay all right and enter all right, and got that one done. All right, so I've configured static mapping from here to here. So static mapping from here to here. Let's do this. Let's go to router three and do a static mapping from here to router one. Okay, so I'll close that, and we'll do this one. All right, and. interface serial 2 slash 0 and encapsulation tab frame relay alright and
and uh, bandwidth 64. All right, and then frame relay map IP to 10.0.0.1, which is router 1, right? So this will be the DLCI will be 301 because we're in router 3, so it's the 300s. And 301, the 1 indicates it's going to go to router 1, right? And I think we have to put in the broadcast here. Broadcast. All right. And notice what it says here address already in map. So it already has it. Interesting. So show. Let's see here. Frame relay. Let's try that. Show frame relay map. And you can see here that even though we've um, put in only one of the static mappings from here to here, and only one of the static mappings from here to here, right? And then we put in a static mapping from here to here. Router 3 knows about both DLCIs, right? And it's been broadcast, right? And it's learned about the other one automatically. And you can see it's active and the state's up, right? Now, if this is the case and everything's good, then we should be able to ping from this host to 192.168.1.100. Let's try that out. So we'll just try that. And we'll try to ping across the network. And we'll see if that works. And there's the reply. And so it works, right? And we'll see if he can ping the other host. 172.16.0.100. And it's taking a little while because it probably has to do some. Let's see here. And there's a reply. So now our static mapping works. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start over with this. And this time, we're going to do sub interfaces, which is the um, preferred way of doing it. 